here with you today to discuss my wonderful company. Uh, our wonderful company. MyMeetingSpace.com I believe that Messrs. Purdy and Anderson have introduced the company to you within their capacity to do so, uh, but I will take you further down the rabbit hole, as twere. By the way, it's not my fault that the servers melted and that we have no backup. As you might recall, we did have backup servers in the basement of my vacation estate which yielded, by the way, a significant cost savings. But who could have known the levees would have broken in New Orleans? Well, we've already made arrangements to have another backup. We will be sharing server capacity with the national headquarters of a preeminent department store at the yet-to-be-completed Freedom Towers at Ground Zero in downtown New York. Again, Thanks to our wonderful friends at the Target Corporation. Next up, I'm proud to share a major announcement with all of you. MyMeetingSpace.com has entered into a partnership with a major search engine so that our customers can utilize their MyMeetingSpace.com websites as home pages, searching the web to their heart's content without removing their eyeballs from our sponsor's adverts. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. We couldn't get Google at a reasonable price, so we've gone with a much younger company. Goo Google. And we couldn't be more pleased. Every move our clients make through their websites will be tracked, recorded, shared with Goo Google, and stored on our servers. By the way, uh, just to share a one-that-got-away story, we almost partnered with a company even much larger than Google. Googleplex. <laughs> Googleplex, yes! Oh, oh. Excuse me. <clears throat> but let's move on. We've also partnered with a customer relationship management company, Salesforce.com. <laughs> Almost perfect. They are an ASP that will help our marketing department understand our customers better. But their name is Salesforce. F-O-U-R-S. That's right. Just like Salesforce, but much, much less expensive. And with almost half the level of utility, service, and security. Here's how it works. A customer signs up online and everything they tell us about themselves and every aspect of how they utilize our service is recorded. At the end of every month, all that information, thousands and thousands of clients, gets downloaded into a spreadsheet for us to work with. We put that file right on our servers and everyone in the company can get access to it. Then, marketing can sift through all those data to their heart's content. I'm sure it won't be more than a month or so of work for them to give us tactical level reports on sales trends and the like. Uh, even better, in just another month or so beyond that, our management team will have strategic information that we can use to make important funding decisions. And, speaking of funding decisions, another announcement. I've been gathering marketing intelligence about where the market is headed, and I've discerned that it's entering a stage of hyper-growth. A number of significant blogs, which, as you know, is the trend of the future today. Uh, and these blogs are saying that things in the market are looking mighty rosy. Well, uh, there's this chap 
who I think lives in Saskatchewan, and he seems to know what he's talking about. Well, his, his spelling is much better than most bloggers. So based on this rock salad uh, intelligence, I've decided what we need to do. After all, I'm the decider, and so I've decided. I've decided to find and have found an investment banker who's agreed to get us in debt up to our eyeballs to take advantage of this opportunity. I had to turn over quite a number of rocks to find this fellow, I can tell you. Ah, uh, uh, by God, we'll need to double sales just to meet the debt service requirements, but I know we can do it. We'll have to, after all. Of course, doubling sales would have been easy if only all those bogus new clients that popped up last month had been real. Indeed, millions of invalid clients. Unbelievable. But I would be remiss if I didn't bring our guests up to date. Last month, it seems that some rogue librarians from Idaho, we think, hacked into our servers, created millions of false accounts, and utilized them to send spyware and worms and viruses and whatnot to computers at the CIA, the NSA, the FBI, MI5, and someone named LoveYouLongTime23 at AOL.com in Oshkosh. Bit of a mess, what? <sighs> anyway, I must excuse myself, as I've got quite a lot of data to put in context, and root around to look for patterns. Quite. Oh, you remember, I've taken to bringing our entire database, all clients, all transactions, home every day on my laptop so that I can keep on top of everything. So, I just wanted to take this opportunity to welcome you again, to thank you for entering this discussion about our company, and to say that we are all chomping at the bit to hear your recommendations. So, cheers, and thank you. Are we out? In all my time in this wretched, godforsaken country, the one thing that has appalled me the most is this petty... Oh, could you turn it off, please? Thank you.